Hey guys, Tadika here with DC Works, and I'm going to show you how to take this no floor, no trim, basic laundry room that tends to be a collect all everything junk space into a beautiful laundry oasis that you're actually going to want to fold in. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it all in two days under $500. There's not really much I could say about the laundry room other than it worked. It was really ugly, uh, so I made sure that I just took everything out, gave it a good clean so I had fresh slate. Didn't have to do much demo because there wasn't any. So I've got my friend Amara here with me today. And the laundry room, we're going to be tiling the pony wall in a 3 by 16 white subway tile to keep it nice and fresh. If you haven't watched my full video on how to tile a floor, it's basically the same thing. I'll link it below. You need your measuring tape, a level, your grout, your adhesive, and your tiles, and your tile cutter. It's actually so easy to tile. So you get your adhesive on the wall and make sure that your line is level or you have something to level your tile with so that it all goes on straight. Push it onto the wall, get your spacers in there, and then 24 hours later, you're able to grout. Now, if you're wondering about cutting your tile, I just have a simple score and snap, and it worked completely fine for this entire wall. There was no curves, so that's all you need if you don't want to tackle a wet saw and you just have a simple tile job. If I could describe grouting in one sentence, it would be put the grout in the void. That's literally all you have to do. Doesn't matter how messy it gets, take your cloth or your sponge or whatever you have and wipe it off. And that's it. 10 points to anybody who can guess what color I chose. White, you're right. Not because I'm boring or want to follow a trend. It's simply a small, small space and white is the perfect way to brighten it up. If I had a large, laundry room I probably would have done like a hunter green or a black wall or something really cool that popped but white it is on to my most favorite part of the entire project is the floor so I used a product called wall pops which is a peel and stick vinyl the cost is insanely budget friendly at $23 a box and that's 12 square feet and I I think I needed just under three boxes. Yeah, no, I did. I needed under three boxes. The entire floor went down in under an hour, and I'm super impressed with the quality two weeks later. I'm loving this floor. I'm going to be linking all my products below, including wall pops, so if you're into it, head down there. Overall, I'm so impressed at the budget we were able to come up with for such a small space but such a large impact. If you're a DIYer like myself your budget is usually your first priority in this space so all of my products are linked below and I hope you learned something today or just enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to click the subscribe and like button and I will see you next time.